Hi again, uh, here we are to complete our uh, s our weather app here. And uh, so far we've got, um, you know, we've imported jQuery. We've created a simple form to allow us to input the name of the city. And then, um, you know, whenever you input a city name, we're calling this get weather method with the name of the city and that's loading the weather. So the one thing we haven't done yet is we haven't actually displayed the weather on the page. So um, let's handle that. So that's really gonna gonna happen right here inside the callback for um, for dollar sign get right. So when we use jQuery and we we you know make our AJAX call to get the um, the data from the service. Um, you know, we're going to get a call back here and it's going to include the data. Now, normally data is loaded as text. So if we load, if, you know, if we use the get method to load something on the internet, you know, it's just loaded as raw data. jQuery secretly, if you load a JSON file, it actually converts it into a JavaScript object. So there's actually one extra step that happens here. Um, that it does it for us secretly in the background. If we loaded some other kind of data, it would just be text, right? So, um, so anyway, so jQuery is kind of helping us out there secretly. Um, but uh, at this point, this should be a JavaScript object, right? So that means that we can, you know, access properties of that object with the dot. So we can say dot, you know, property name. And if that property was another object, we could say dot, you know, other property name. You know, or if maybe, you know, um, we had a property called list and then that was an array, right? Then we could access the first item or the, you know, the first item. And then if there was, a, if this was an object, we could say, you know, name of that property, right? So, um, you know, it's just like dealing with any, any JavaScript object, right? So, uh, so how are we going to figure this out, right? Well, you know what we're going to do? is we're gonna go, you can go and kind of look at the data on the open weather map site, but like I explained in one of the earlier videos, sometimes the data that you get is not exactly what they have on their site. So, um, and it's actually pretty close, so I shouldn't really complain. Um, I'm not really complaining, um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to open up the, the page that I have here in the browser and then I have the console open down here and I can see the object that I loaded, right? So this was the last time I loaded the object. These guys are all the same. They just are information for, they're, they're just holding information for other cities. I'm gonna open up one of these and um, I'm just gonna examine it here and then write my code based on what I see here. And then that way I know that this is pretty accurate to what I'm gonna get, right? So, uh, so how does this work? Well, first of all, let's make um, some place in our page here to display the weather data, right? So what I'll do is I'll, um, maybe I'll type in a div here and then I'll give it, um, let me see here, let me rearrange this window a little bit here. Um, for some reason my cursor is not showing up, right? Um, I'm gonna give this an ID, we'll call it, you know, weather, now yeah, let's let's just call it weather. How about that? That'll be simple and easy, right? So we're gonna put our data in here. And then maybe in here, we also want to have an item that will show the temperature, right? And maybe the description for the weather. So maybe let's call this description. Um, and then maybe right below there, we'll say temp. So we're gonna put some information into these two divs, right? So this might say like, you know, scattered clouds, and then this one might say, you know, 283 degrees, though that would be Kelvin, and later we can convert that into Celsius or Fahrenheit, right? So just for now, we'll just get the Kelvin data. So essentially we wanna grab this thing right here and put it in here, and then we don't see the description here, but if I dig in here somewhere, what is it, main, um, no, that's not the one. Uh, I think it's under weather. And then if I go in here, you can see description, broken clouds, right? So, so I wanna put that right over here, right? And if you see how I get these two things, the, getting the rest of these will just follow the same procedure, right? Okay, so, so what are we gonna do? Well, first of all, let's get, um, 
a reference to the description here, right? So what we'll do is we'll say um, description, and then we're going to say .html. So using jQuery, we can select any element by its selector, right? Just we put a string that is the selector that you, any selector that you could use in CSS, you can use here in jQuery. And then we'll do .html, and .html lets you set the content inside the tag. So everything that appears between the two tags here is the HTML, okay? And you can even include HTML in the HTML, right? So, you know, if I put, you know, H1, hello world right here, then we would see that inside the div, right? So what we're going to do, though, is we're going to get the description here from the data object, right? So this is our data object here. Let me shrink that just a little bit, right? Okay. And we're going to place it right here. So I've got data. And then what I have here is a property called weather. So I'll do dot weather. And it says weather is an array, right? So what we do is we put the square brackets there. And this array has one item in it, and that's this object here. And for some weather stations, or for some weather results, you can actually get an array of multiple objects, but you'll always get at least one. So we put a zero there to get the first item, okay? And then that item is in turn an object that has these properties, description, icon, ID, and main. So description is this guy. So what we'll do is we'll say dot description, right? So there we go, data dot weather bracket zero dot description, and that should be this thing right here, broken clouds for whatever, for London, right? Okay, so that was description. Now let's try and get the temperature, okay? So the temperature is over here inside main. So we'll start the same way. Now in my page here, temperature is in the ID the div with the ID name temp. So what we'll do is we'll type in temp dot html because we're going to put some text into the html for that div and then we'll do dot so data is the object dot is going to allow me to access any of the properties here on the top level. In our case we want main right and so main shows these curly braces here so that means this is an object we can open it up, right? It says main is an object, and then it has these properties, humidity, pressure, temp, you know, temp max, temp min, right? So we can use the dot again to get at one of the inner properties for the object, and the property that we want is temp. Okay, and again, this will be the temperature in Kelvin, right? So we'll save that, and then uh, let's refresh our page over here. So I'll do Command R to refresh it. I don't see anything there because, you know, currently these two divs right here that we've created um, are are empty, right? So I've got div ID description and main, and they're both they're both empty. Let's type in London and hit submit, and it says broken clouds, 279 degrees Kelvin. Moscow, 273 degrees, light shower, snow. Let's type in Paris, clear sky. Let's type in uh, San Fran, Cisco, light rain. Huh, okay, so it looks like it's working pretty good. Let's try Tokyo, right? Tokyo, broken clouds, 286, right? So anyway, so that's working pretty good, and you can follow the same procedure to get all the other properties and display everything that you want to display for the weather. Okay, so good luck with that, and thanks for watching.